Amir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphon. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers? Yes. Like your mothers. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Wait, are those... Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. this is a training arena if you like you'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies they won't be able to harm you Brock what do you think about fate I don't either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't still feels like you're making choices either way Shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down.
mess some folks up. There you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Dear, do you know Ratatosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Retinue. as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but... Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So, then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the Light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. Been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Whoa. where we're trying. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter.
Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Nornia's dress. We'll be right along. My dad likes lube. Ah. Very well. Living desert. Huh. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he? I know. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, is Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. I didn't know. 
know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, very clever. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanni traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. You mentioned how that piece fell apart as soon as he left. I was getting into it. Did you hear that? Oh no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the life. Not like they're giving us much of a choice. Father said, 
I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A chart. I'm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's so tall. We came in from the top of the time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's the Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yes. 
stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. <laughs> I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success to see the light. <laughs> Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't forget some architecture. This way, Ryan awaits. different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than I Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. <gasps> They'll get more dangerous the further they <gasps> go. Great. is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. We just like to be thorough. 
I see. By all means. Another red! Anything interesting this way? Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Perhaps a higher vantage point is needed. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Eyes. Esteem. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. 
maybe that's not a great idea. Hello there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back. Yep. Uh -oh. they keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls in the light left alone. The Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again.
Why not simply hold it in place? looks right. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? Left flank! So, which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite?
I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Another light out! To the left! I'll meet you on the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. That's the wrong. No, oh, I see. Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Yeah. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too.
Ah, I see. The timing must be precise. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! <laughs> 